Good morning, it's Ryan again from DecksbyE3.com where we blog about building better decks and decks that you can enjoy. Today, we're gonna to talk about butt joints. If you've seen my other videos or my blog articles, you realize I don't like to do miter cuts because miter cuts open up and they create ugliness in the future. But, obviously, this butt joint is also ugly. A little trick I learned from Dr. Dex, and because we have a whole bucket of paint here from Regal Select, because we had to paint some of our skirting around the side of the deck over there, we have an opportunity here to, to see what painting can do for our butt joints here. A couple things I want to remind you of. One, small brush. You don't want to grab a big brush. This is very small detail and we're doing here. Small brush, you're going to be thankful for doing that. Two, I bought a gallon. It's going to set you back like 60 bucks. Don't do that. Do what Dr. Deck suggests. Go to Home Depot or one of your local paint supply stores. Get one of those little $4 sampler packs. And flat. Flat is the key. The flatter the better because it's going to show up your dust a lot less than if you do a high gloss finish. So the trick here, take your brush, stick it in, and don't, don't load it up. Just a little bit on the time. Take your time. You're gonna be painting this out and you're gonna take your time to get that right. Little bit, back and forth. You already can see it's starting to hide the end joint here. A little something to remember here is this end joint here now is exposed to those wood fibers, which is actually what we're painting to because the polymer cap here that covers this Trek stack, you can't really paint very well. The paint is going to come off, which is actually going to be our little advantage here. So let's say you, oh, you paint it too far. Just quickly grab your white wet cloth there and just clean that up. If you do it quickly, you're not going to have any problems at all. Again, take your time. Small little strokes, small loads, small brush. Get right in there and paint it up. Of course, if you're not feeling confident on your brush strokes, there's absolutely no shame in using painter's tape. Doesn't even have to be this high quality of paint. Just your normal white masking tape you probably have sitting somewhere in your house. You just put that along there, put it on there, done. Now I don't have to take nearly as much care when I'm painting. Quickly do my brush strokes there. Take my paint off. Voila, nice and beautiful. This is Sherlock and frog paint is even better to actually prevent the paint from leaking over the side of it. But just that, just masking tape because you're just trying to get the big strokes. This big picture of the paint here, oh, you're not even really gonna see that little bit that goes over top when you're out on your deck enjoying it. But this is just one more way to make the edge of your decks look better. And of course, you can do this all around your picture frame. Well, if you don't want to do your picture frame, you could paint the edge of your decking, which is another way just to dress it up while still reducing a little bit of your cost. So good luck finishing your deck the way you're going to enjoy it.